Hey guys, it's Gonzo. How you been? It's been a while. Uh, I started vacation for 11 days yesterday, so uh, cheers. Bill Gaudi, he drinks Bush, I drink Bush Light. Anyways, I'm going to do a how to trap crayfish metal trap. Um, I'm going to try and make, it's going to be like a three, four, maybe five part series. I'm going to try and make all the videos short and sweet, so let me get to it. I want to thank Greg Pop, Popovich from Tackle Factory. Sent me a whole uh, whole batch of uh, metal traps again and a crawfish end this time. Which, if you look at the middle trap here, it's got a really small hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. My thumb will just fit in there. But this one, the crawfish trap, I can put three fingers in there. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to take uh, two of these middle traps and I'm going to put one more together here. And uh, you have to follow your rules and regulations from your state. Like uh, Michigan's 24 inches long. Nothing bigger than that. Uh, make sure that you've got a name tag on your trap. I've got name tags on all mine on the clips at the end here. And if you want, like on here, I've got my name scratched in here. Uh, you can use an engraver. I ended up using a great big nail. Because it's really easy for somebody to steal your trap and throw the name tag off and say, well, that's my trap. Anyways, uh, where I'm going to go set these minnow traps tonight, I had that happen. My old Rusty G's minnow trap, if you guys watched my minnow trapping videos, and I killed the minnows in that old rusty thing. I went there one day, checked my trap, took some minnows, I went back the next day to check it, and somebody sniffed the line. It seemed somebody was eating ice cream there, because there was uh, ice cream the day before, so I'm guessing some kid went there and probably took it. But anyways, uh, I don't want to get off the subject here. Um, the rules and regulations, uh, they were updated this past year for crayfish in Michigan. So um, the harvest regulations were updated April 9th. Uh, there's no size limit. There's no limit possession, and crayfish fishing in a trout stream may only be taken during trout season. So trout season's open right now. Don't crayfish fish in a trout stream afterwards or minnow trap because you're going to get yourself a ticket. And uh, it isn't worth it, trust me. I, I, not that I have, but you, you don't want one. Um, we're going to be going after rusty crayfish. They're not like the crayfish down south or around. They're, they're a lot smaller. You know, they're going to be from one inch long, maybe to three and a half inches long. I want to keep anything, you know, two and a half to three and a half inches for eating. There ain't a whole lot of meat on them, so you need a lot of them. So if I can find somebody to, that wants them, I'll show you guys how to purge them. If not, I'm going to tell you how to purge them. And if uh, I find somebody that wants them and I purge them, then I'm going to do the boil up and I'll show you guys the boil up and the finished product when it's done. Um, like three years ago I did one, and my son and his friend, uh, I did the whole series and did a boil up and they ate the whole batch of them. And I melted a couple sticks of butter in there, uh, seasoned them all up with some cage and stuff, and they loved them. Ripped them in half, ripped the meat out, sucked the heads, the crowd, whatever the heck that's called. But I'm gonna use two G's of minnow traps, and I'm gonna take a brand new minnow trap, so I'll have three minnow traps out there. I'm gonna go uh, catch some minnows by hook and line. I want some bigger chubs. Um, you can use perch, you can use panfish, whatever. And all I'm gonna do is let them sit in my bucket, I'm gonna let them die. Uh, ferment for four or five hours. I'm going to go out there this evening. I'm going to rip them up, you know, make them mushy. So when I throw them in the trap and I put my traps in, the scent travels downstream and the crabs are going to come out from underneath the rocks and stuff. I would, I would suggest that you don't trap like in mud or real shallow water. You want some bigger boulders where these uh, crabs can hide underneath and stuff. And you don't have to throw your trap out 10, 15 feet or in the middle of the river. You can take your trap and stand right on the edge of the bank and set it in there. Two feet off, of, as long as the trap is covered with water, you'll be fine. There's probably more crabs closer to shore than there is out deeper anyways. And where we're going, um, I did really well there in the past, but I tried trapping crabs there last year, crawfish, sorry about that, um, crawfish there last year, and uh, I think I caught three, so I didn't even end up making the video. I just, uh, there ain't going to be no video because it would have been horrible. I would have got laughed at. Anyways, if you watched uh, uh, my Rusty G's Minnow Trap earlier this year, I threw a couple dead crop, or, uh, minnows in there, ripped them up, came back two days later, pulled the trap, and it had a lot of them in there. And then I dumped them all right on a very big rock right next to the river. You can watch them going. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and check that out. Uh, like I said, I want to make this short. I uh, gave you guys the updated rules and regulations. I'm going to use three minnow traps. Um, this is going to be the first part of the series. 
Then uh, when I go set the traps tonight, uh, that'll be part two. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to set them, where I'm going to set them, and mush the minnows up. And then part three is going to be checking the minnow traps. And then, like I said, uh, sometime today I can find somebody that wants to eat them. I'll show you guys how to purge them, and I'll do the boil up. Be on vacation. You're going to see uh, some fishing videos coming up and stuff. Uh, maybe a frogging video. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, let's end this video. Let's get ready to rock and roll, and uh, I'm going to go catch myself some minnows. Traps and crabs tonight. Peace, fellas.